Our first speaker is an individual who is actually talking about the exact thing we were just mentioning. I bring to you Greg Bartos with his talk, A Laugh a Day. Well, how often do you guys laugh? Most likely, not enough. Today, I'm going to talk about the benefits of laughter, where we can find things that make us laugh, and how it can positively influence your life. So let's start by taking a look at laughter's effect on the mind, body, and soul. Laughter exercises our mind. I mean, you wouldn't laugh at something that you didn't understand, so laughter kicks in all the processes and activities in our brains, and it makes us more aware of our surroundings. I mean, the comedians are always talking about the little things in life, right? I mean, they pay attention. We can accomplish remarkable things if we just focus and pay attention. Laughter also reduces the many strains on our mind. So now let's talk about the benefits on our body. A study done by Maryland's Medical University showed that laughter, um, that patients with heart disease were actually 40% less likely to laugh than patients without heart disease. Now, laughter hasn't been proven to cure illnesses, but it can increase the amount of antibodies. It can uh, boost your immune system, lower your blood sugar, Laughter actually increases your energy and reduces pain. Now, laughter has been proven to burn calories as well. I mean, doesn't a good laugh feel like a workout? I mean, it definitely does for me. <laughs> Thank you. Now, as for Dover's soul, <laughs> this is here to remind us that humans are actually the only creatures that can laugh. I know you're, talking, you're thinking hyenas, but they actually just bark. So if we act like animals and we don't laugh, you want to know what happens? we end up dead. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are not just animals. The, uh, sorry. Now, laughter is all around us. There's a funny side to almost every situation. So for this section, I want to use nouns to help us remember where we can find things that make us laugh. So to start things off, we'll talk about people. People like Will Ferrell, Steve Martin, Jim Carrey, Steve Carell, and uh, Larry Shaheen. I don't know how he got in here. But uh, also places can be funny. Places, or at least names of places. Places like the town of Winkleman, or there's a little town in Texas actually called Oatmeal, which is uh, inhabited mostly by Quakers, so I hear. <laughs> Now, random things can also make us laugh. For me, like capes and old bicycles make me laugh, but also things like going to the movies or reading the Sunday comics. Also, the association of applied and therapeutic humor is a good place to find resources to laugh. Great books are also good, like Laughter, a Scientific Investigation, or Laugh for No Reason, and the book Humor Me, which is actually just a bunch of comedians talking about the very thing we're talking about the power of laughter and how it influences our life. Wherever you are, chat about the fun things in life. Tell funny stories and ask funny questions. Watch funny YouTube videos. Also, keep something that makes you laugh on your desk or on your computer. The, the Hebrew word for laughter is actually tzachoch. Now, Rabbi Daniel Lapin explains a fascinating truth. In the laughter is first used in the book of Genesis, where Sarah actually gives birth to a baby at age 90. Now, why is laughter mentioned here? Because laughter is essentially a response to something that differs from the norm, something different. Now, the word sachok, laughter, also relates to the word sechok, which is, describes the bonding of individuals. So, based on the relationship between these two words, we realize that laughter strengthens bonds between individuals. This is actually the concept and part of the reason for the many laugh clubs in India or laughter yoga classes. And you are actually 30 times more likely to laugh when you're with other people. So when you're around people, go join in and laugh. Also, be silly, be spontaneous. It's actually contagious. All right, here we go. A ba 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 Oh, that was really good, actually. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't sure that, that would work. <laughs> Above all, laughter can make us happier, more social, and more creative. Just as laughter is contagious, so too is the inspiration and enthusiasm that laughter produces. So wherever you are, build relationships with people by sharing a good laugh. If we add laughter to our daily routine, we can make our community a better place. 
and perhaps our joy and enthusiasm will spread throughout the country, and maybe one day we can have a positive impact on the world. Dr. Mandan Kataria established the International Day of Laughter on the first Sunday in May each year. But ladies and gentlemen, I encourage each and every one of you to make that day every day. Thank you.